Hello my little angels. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a limited motion in my face. It's getting a lot better than it was last week. If you did not see, I got surgery on my chin. So if you wanna know more about that, see my recovery process, I documented the full first week on YouTube and I've been documenting on TikTok as well. So you guys can follow me there for more context last week so my second week of recovery i don't want to say it was harder than the first because it definitely wasn't but i think the hard part about it was that i thought i was going to feel like more normal and i was like still feeling very very tight very sore just not like fully myself at all i still do not feel fully myself for some reason i just kind of thought i would like bounce back like after a week i felt like i would feel pretty good i don't know why i thought that because everything i read everything i researched and even my doctor himself told me it would be like a full month before i felt like i had more like range of motion and even like two to three months before i like see the final results i'm not swollen i'm not sore all of that so i don't know why in my head i was like oh i'll beat those odds like i will be great within a week like i don't know but basically it's been two and a half weeks as i'm filming this and i'm still just so tight right here and i was like starting to kind of freak out because i'm just like oh my gosh like i can't talk normally i'm still feeling a little bit of numbness everyone is telling me that it's had this done and again like my doctor is like this is super normal nothing you really do will speed up the healing process aside from like the normal stuff you can put a little heat on your neck for the tightness put ice on your cheeks for swelling stuff like that but at the end of the day, it's like, it just takes a little bit of time and every day will get better. This recovery has been like, it's been kind of hard. I think specifically for me and my personality, I have such a hard time sitting down and like, okay, are my hands orange? I did put some self tanner on, probably didn't put it on very well. I just have a hard time in general, like chilling, taking it down a notch, sitting down, resting. That is not supposed to be like a subtle flex. That is literally like my biggest weakness. Like I don't know how to take a chill pill. My doctor is saying, he's like, after two weeks, you can do like light workouts, but nothing crazy. And like you need to wait a month before you weight lift, which I was already like bummed about, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, just because I've been on such a great routine with like working out and weightlifting. After two weeks, I was like, yeah, absolutely not. Like I cannot work out. And that was like a bummer to me because I thought by this point I would just be able to like do some workouts and I'm just like not at that place. Like my face just hurts too bad. Just I'm like still in chill mode but my brain is not in chill mode. So that's where the disconnect is happening. We've been going on walks, which has been nice, but like that's really the extent of like what I've been doing. Like we just went out to eat for the first time since I got my surgery. I've just been eating at home. I've been like post-mating some stuff, but I just haven't felt comfortable like going out in public and like ordering because like just like my face has been hurting so bad, but I feel like I'm starting to like look normal to like the average person. It's like, I maybe I'm talking a little weird, but like it's fine. I can definitely go out in public. There's a little like surgery update. I also like my skin is horrible right now. And by horrible, I mean dry AF and acne. <laughs> my chin is just like breaking out a lot and it's so itchy. I like breaking out like on my lip. Everything's just feeling funky. I think I'm gonna love the results because I can already see some definition here. And my face is already feeling a lot more symmetrical. It's just the extra swelling down here and the swelling under here. And someone on TikTok was like, I don't really feel like you're swollen. I'm like, trust me, I am swollen like under here and just my face. Oh shoot, I missed Chelsea's call. You know, I got the iced chai on lock, honey. Location switch. Lady, you want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi. Uh, Sorry, everyone. Uh, Today's Valentine's Day when I'm... Recording this by the way you guys. That's why I'm wearing my cute little pink heart. You'd think I'd be wearing like a full pink outfit today, but It was well the weather's been playing games with me, but it's kind of warm So I wanted to wear like a t-shirt dress. I didn't have anything that was pink. Are you gonna come over here? Leaf is just lurking. Happy V-Day! Leaf has been my freaking caretaker <laughs> For the past two and a half weeks, he's been doing everything Doing it all for my Valentine. You didn't even ask me to be your Valentine. 
You just automatically are. Uh, we did lunch earlier, a little Valentine's Day little lunchy lunch. And we've just been chilling, just been laying low. I did want to give you guys an update of the books that I was reading. So if you recall, I shared two books in last vlog. Um, one, because at all times I like to have like a self-help book that I'm reading and then a, or like, you know, some sort of like learning situation and then like a fun novel that I'm reading. So I was reading this one, 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think and then also People We Meet On Vacation. Hated People We Meet On Vacation, sorry. Cheesy. I've like cheesy. Cheesy, uh, kind of cringe. I don't know why, I don't know if it was like the mindset I was in. This, however, I really, really like. I have highlighted so much stuff. Can you even see my highlighted stuff? I switched highlighters halfway through as well. I am like this far into it, so I only have a little bit left. I'm on, how oh, there's 101 and I'm on 76. It's just a good read. Like I like it because they're just like these short little like two page things that you can read, highlight through, really think about, ponder on. And then when you pick it up again, you can read the next one. The new novel that I'm reading is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. So far, very hooked. I haven't read that much of it. Probably like 15% of the way through. I just got a package with some fresh skims that I ordered. Um, I did a little haul on TikTok actually, if you guys want to see everything I got. I don't think I have any like Skims leggings. I only have their like boxer brief things. Their stuff is just so comfortable and really so good. Like I am genuinely obsessed with it all. I wear a size small in Skims. I say that because I feel like it runs a little bit small. I got extra small in some stuff when I first ordered from Skims. I didn't like it. Like I was like, oh, this is so tight. Like, I don't think this is very comfortable. Like I wasn't super impressed. And then I sized up to a, a small. And then even with like the boyfriend t-shirts that I sleep in and stuff, I'll get like size large just so it's a little looser on me. But anyway, if you're like around my size or something, I get size small and it works really well for me. This is like their cotton jersey bra, I believe. And then these are the leggings, the like cotton rib leggings. They're actually a little bit loose, to be honest. I think it's because I've been on a freaking liquid diet for the past two weeks. So they'll probably be snug in no time once I'm eating a little bit more comfortably. Just threw this little sweatshirt over my skim stuff to go on a little walk. This is literally what I look forward to all day. <laughs> Cause it's basically the only thing I've been doing. We got this sourdough from the farmer's market this weekend. And then I also got this strawberry jam, homemade. It's so good. It's like, has like chunks of strawberries in it. Did I just get that on me? No. So I've been making myself sourdough toast with butter in this jam and it's so freaking good. Good morning, everyone. I'm about to run to the grocery store. I have to tell you guys about the new love of my life, this Lululemon little like cross, well it's like a belt bag. I'm just wearing it as a crossbody kind of. Lady's just chilling. But I've been wearing it so much lately, I am truly obsessed with it. It just like is the perfect size. I'll show you guys in the car a little bit more. Here's my little outfit for going grocery shopping. I'm putting gold jewelry on to make me feel something because I have felt so not put together recently. I am about to go into Sprouts. Um, where can I set my camera? That's the question. Because this is like, hey, maybe this is perfect because it can hide my chin. Can I like put my steering wheel down? Okay, I figured out how to move the steering wheel down. I'm so smart. No, I literally had to call Leif actually. Because I don't know how to work my own car. I love being a stupid girl. Made some chai. I had like the worst night's sleep last night. Legitimately woke up like maybe 15 times in the night. I have no idea what is happening, you guys, but I've been on my reading routine before bed, which is the whole point of it is to like wind down, relax me, make me fall asleep easier, help me sleep better in general. It definitely does that. However, when I'm literally not reading like the happiest book in the world, I have nightmares all night. Like 
it's so weird it almost affects me even more than tv it's so bizarre to me so i mentioned to you guys i'm currently reading ugly love by colleen hoover and i'm like 30 percent or 20 percent of the way in and it's like not a scary book it's like kind of an unsettling book and i think maybe that's why it's like a romance but it's also does have like this weird element where you're trying to figure something out obviously i don't know what happens so maybe it gets even scarier but like i feel like it shouldn't give me like anxiety and nightmares so i don't know if i'm just like the most sensitive person ever but anyway i like woke up a million times last night and was just like could not sleep that's besides the point anyway i'm doing a little bit better today so that's all we care about i was gonna go and like buy like get a chai and or like a matcha and I was like hello I have stuff to make chai at home we got to be responsible out here and speaking of being financially responsible I mentioned acorns to you guys it's a cool little like investing app in like a few vlogs ago like it maybe at the end of last year I wanted to quickly mention it again because it's so like such a genius little app I love the concept of it and the reason like I was even thinking about it was because you can have the app like basically have it take your leftover like your spare change or like if you make a purchase like you get a coffee or whatever and the total is like six dollars and twenty cents you can have it take your spare change from your purchases like the 80 cents and just invest it which is amazing because i feel like that's like small increments of money that you're not necessarily going to notice or maybe miss but then it's being invested for you your money can potentially grow that way instead of just you know probably spending it on other stuff so i'm gonna put my link right here if you guys want to check it out i'll also put it in the description and you guys can download acorns and start investing literally with just your spare change and you can get a ten dollar bonus investment if you use my link to set up your account so here's where i'm at in life guys i am trying to like find this balance between being put together kind of having a balanced life where i'm on track with like my goals and like i'm waking up and going on walks eating home-cooked meals whatever like getting my steps in and getting outside and nature and then i'm trying to balance that with not being obsessive and like trying so hard to like be someone i'm not almost because the worst thing of all to have in life is stress about feeling like you don't have it together you know what i mean it's better to just like kind of live life and like not stress so much but then it's also like i'm such a goals person you guys know that like i just love having tangible goals or things that i'm working towards because i feel like it does give your life like more purpose and fulfillment it's healthy and i'm just trying to find this balance of that and being obsessed with it and being like too attached to these outcomes you know also i was just seeing this tiktok i'm forgetting who it was unfortunately but they were saying your routines are supposed to make you feel good they're not supposed to just be a box to be checked off i'm so guilty of that like i feel like i just get into like to-do list mode and i'm just like living and breathing by my to-do list when it's like i forget the reason reason behind it it's like okay why am i even doing why am i drinking this chai for a little bit of energy you know what i mean there's purposes behind these things they're not just like i do this to check off my boxes also you guys i have seen the sequence 222 literally like 10 times today i'm not joking i was like doing something on my computer and this file was two minutes and 22 seconds long i was like oh 222 and then literally like two seconds later i'm like reading an email and it was sent at 222 and i was like oh my gosh that's crazy i saw it one more time and then just barely as i'm speaking i'm looking across the street and it's like apartment or like suite number 222 right across from me and i'm like what is i wonder what the angel number 222 means actually let's look it up if it relates to like what i was just talking about shook every aspect of your life should be in harmony with one another oh my gosh it says it's re representative of balance honey 222 y'all is that my new angel number usually i always see 444 that's like my lucky number like i love i see 444 every single day the 222 has been on me today i was like what does this mean came home to a very clean house Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I bought this little perfume stand thing and to organize my perfumes. So that's cool. I just got that in the mail. This tray, we need to figure out a way to store like our fruit and veggies somewhere else. I, I haven't mean, unloaded yet, but. I kind of like the spot. This spot? It you decided to switch of, stuff up? Yeah, it takes up a lot of uh, countertop space. I don't know about that in the corner but i do like everything else i came home and something very exciting was on the porch and i know exactly what it is i have to show you guys because it only makes sense mm. the package is from youtube and it's my first plaque so cool 
for passing 100,000 subscribers. That's so cool. Where should I put this? In my office maybe? This is obviously all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for getting me to 100K. That's so crazy. I've had my YouTube channel for so long, honestly. Like sometimes I forget that I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. Like I haven't always been so consistent with it in like the first years that I was doing it, it was kind of like sporadic and random like I haven't considered myself a youtuber I feel like I still don't even like consider myself a youtuber which is weird but I've just like always had my focus in more in other places like on Instagram and stuff this is just crazy this is cool like this is a cool moment I'm excited about this <laughs> Olipop or Poppy better. I truly love them both so much. They taste very different to me, so I almost just feel like they can't be compared. Olipop maybe feels more like real soda, and this feels more like a health drink, but it still feels like soda. I don't know, and they both taste really good to me in different ways. So you just gotta like try them to maybe understand what I mean. I'm not gonna do like a full grocery haul, but I did get sprouts. I'm trying to like switch up the avocado toast game, you know? Because I haven't had avocado toast actually in like weeks, like ever since my surgery. I was like, what can I add to my avocado or to my toast that would be like healthy and different? So I got some broccoli sprouts. sweet guy turkey cheese some dressing stuff spinach on sourdough hey guys you're inside my office closet i am about to like organize my perfume a little bit i have a lot of random perfumes which i probably need to like go through honestly and maybe get rid of some oh it's not gonna fit on there it's a lancome one it actually smells really good it's just you can't, like, it's too thin to put anywhere. So I feel like I'm literally gonna have to, like, lay it down. Mm, literally, what? Okay, maybe I don't have as many perfumes as I thought I did. I have a few in my room, though. So I need, like, shelving, like a shelving situation right here. But I did organize all my jewelry, earrings gold hoops, um, gold necklaces, more statement earrings, colorful necklaces, some more fun stuff in here, silver and pearls. Um, I just need to find a way to like make this all more organized because that obviously doesn't really work right there because then I can't get to my sunglasses and I don't want to put this like in front of that so it would be nice if I had like shelves that I, so I could utilize this space as well. So... I got these little things off of Amazon, these little organizational bins that can like stack for all my sunglasses. I got three of them. Again, I'm trying to find the best way, like, because it'd be kind of nice if they were like laying out like that so I could just like choose them for an outfit, but they do stack, which is nice, so like they can just go right on top of each other. I feel like having my jewelry in this thing, which by the way, these are from Amazon and so are these, having my jewelry right here makes getting ready so easy because I like can just pick from my earrings like I don't know before I had them all organized I don't know if you guys remember like in a past vlog how I had them organized but it was just like hard for me to easily access all my jewelry and I also got rid of some stuff anyway I need to figure out where to put this but it definitely looks so much better than it did it feels good to at least have this kind of cleaned up Toast, so good. 
I put Cholula on there too and like lemon juice. It's really good. I'm a fan. Making some dinner. Um, I'm making these like ground beef bowls. I got this recipe from this app called Meal Lime. If you guys have ever heard of it. Ground beef with like a sauce, some rice, and I'm gonna make some broccoli. This is the sauce. Just like a little ooh, Asian type sauce. You see that? Well, it looks kind of disgusting right now. The microwave is kind of loud, but this is the rice I'm using. I normally would use like white jasmine rice, but I ran out. But I love these little rice packets that you just throw in the microwave because they're just so fast and easy. I feel like sometimes making rice is daunting even though it's so easy. Like in a rice cooker, it just can take like 25, 30 minutes. So this legitimately takes like two minutes and it's so easy. Okay, little beef bowl with broccoli. Got the orange poppy and we got the grape olipop tonight. Good morning guys. We're doing something creative today. Well, we just made breakfast and I wanted to make like a green juice or it was in the mood for a green juice. So I have two cups of ice and then I blended together orange juice, pineapple juice, and spinach. That's it. In my blender. So here she is. I'm thinking I'm going to pour it in a, through a strainer into the cups. But maybe I should pour it into like a pitcher, but we don't have a pitcher. I'm going to put this down here. Sorry, because you're not going to be able to see me, guys. Mm -hmm. I love juicing but it takes so long and it's such a commitment and juicers are very expensive so I feel like this could be a way to make a little green juice that looks so good So good. Here is the breakfast sitch. We got eggs, spinach, avocado with Cholula and some spices, some turkey bacon, some orange, and the green juice. We stand a chai boy. <laughs> Lady always acts like she wants things, but it's like, you don't like this. You've never had it. Any dog experts out there, tell me. Okay, Lady, when it's not even just life actually, even though she like loves him more than she loves me. Um, whenever like the whole family isn't together, like if we're all in the car and Leif runs in to grab something or if I go in to grab something and it's just Leif and her, she gets all anxious and she like whines. Should I ignore her? Like should I ignore the behavior? I'm just thinking in my head that's probably better than like consoling her and be like, it's okay, it's okay. and like. That's what I want to do, just because, like, she's so cute, and I just want to be sweet to her. But I kind of feel like I just need to ignore it. But tell me if you're a dog trainer out there. I think Lady just has, like, some social anxiety. We love her. She's very quirky. She just likes when we're all together hanging out, huh? You don't like to be separated. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Lay friend inside this little, like, pet store to grab some stuff. For lady really quick but we're on our way to the beach um we're going there for sunset and to just go on a little walk so oh he's already coming back see this is the, this is what i'm talking about so happy oh oh td chelsea got me this sporty and rich hoodie for my birthday i think or christmas i think it's my birthday there's always so close i don't ever know my lulu pouch some leggings and I'm barefoot. I do have my, I have some slides, but I was saying it's kind of annoying to carry your shoes and walk along the beach, so I might just do no shoes today. Yeah? Shut up. Oh my gosh. Keaton, Leif's brother, is like right next to us right now. He just looked on find my friends. So maybe we'll meet up with him. Sit. 
just went and got a matcha from Starbucks from the drive-thru. Leif and Keaton were in the garage like working on stuff. I was like, bye. I'm leaving to go somewhere. I was like, I don't even know where. I just want to get out of the house. So I went to Starbucks to grab a drink. I also just like smothered my chin and my lips with this like extra hydrating stuff so that hopefully my dry skin gets even more moisturized because it is dry, honey. You know what I was thinking? It's a weird concept that like as an influencer, when you like film your day, a lot of times it looks like you don't like do that much. Like it, well, especially cause I'm recovering from surgery right now still, I feel like. So I'm not at my like peak productiveness, but either way, I feel like when you're watching a vlog, it just looks like they like go on a morning walk and then work out and then like cook food and whatever like just it doesn't look like you do anything all day i'm like working on so many things and it's so annoying because i just can't share them ever like basically any project i work on is either like confidential literally from like a brand or it's like you know we're working on like what we said merch and like other stuff with that i don't want to like hype it up when it's not done yet, you know what I mean? So I feel like I can never talk about what I'm working on. And I feel like it's almost more annoying to be like, I'm working right now on something fun. And it's like, okay, well, if you're not gonna tell us what, then like, why even mention it? So I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm just rambling, but I was just thinking like, you guys probably think I just like sit around and like hang out all day and like, just like, I'm bored. Like, I guess I'll go get a matcha. It's like, I feel like I'm always at my computer, like working on just random stuff, but. Anyway, big things coming, stay tuned. I'm just really excited to like feel like a normal person again. I'm getting there, but it's just, I was watching the beginning clips of this exact vlog. I was like, I don't even want to put this vlog out because I feel like I look so weird. Like I'm having an identity crisis because I look so, like my mouth just doesn't move like it used to. It will, it's just my face is still frozen. And it's a weird feeling. I feel like just not myself and I have to have this freaking thing on all the time. I don't know, everything's just sensitive. I'm just in a weird stage, but thank you guys so much for like watching my videos either way and sticking with me through this weird time in my life where I'm just recovering from surgery and it's taking longer than I thought it would. It's really not that bad. I like don't mean to complain. It's just weird more than anything. It's just a weird feeling. But I did do my first workout I did two workouts this week. They're both Melissa Wood Health and they both went really well. I'm sore, it felt really good and it wasn't like too much and then I've been walking every day. So that's been really nice to help me feel a little bit more active. We're moving in a grooving over here. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok if you want more like daily updates of what I'm up to. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.